today's recording, we're going to go over how to add the HubSpot tracking code to any pages not hosted on the HubSpot ecosystem. So essentially, the HubSpot tracking code is a small snippet of JavaScript that you can place on any website page. By default, if your website is hosted on HubSpot, that tracking code is added automatically so you don't even have to worry about this but in cases where maybe you have other subdomains or other websites not hosted on HubSpot you normally you'll have the HubSpot tracking code added to those pages um, so to get the HubSpot tracking code you want to go to your portal settings against the gear icon in the top right and we're going to want to go to reports and then tracking code on the left side this is your tracking code right here this is everything that you need to let HubSpot analyze all of the pages and make sure that all the contacts that we have within the HubSpot CRM are connected with all of that activity. So essentially, as soon as you place this code on your website pages in the footer HTML of that of that you know domain or subdomain, that those pages will act like regular HubSpot pages, meaning you can place a chatbot on those pages any page that you know a contact that are tracking in HubSpot you can see if those contacts have viewed those pages even though they're not hosted in HubSpot so again this HubSpot tracking code is how all of this data is connected to each of these contacts so in many cases you can just either grab you know this tracking code directly or get it sent to you or your developer and then essentially it's a matter of copying and pasting this code right into the uh, footer HTML, which is just before the closing body tag um, of all of your relevant pages. So once that code is there, you're going to want to verify that it's correct. So if you go to whatever that page is, you're going to want to right click anywhere on the page. You're going to want to inspect. That's going to bring up this little uh, module. And there it is. Okay. It's going to bring up this little pop up. Um, which basically gives you a better idea of you know what the actual back end of the page looks like in terms of HTML and CSS and JavaScript and all that. Um, so you're going to want to go to network. Um, I'm going to refresh this page one more time just in case. And so essentially you're going to look for uh, sort by name, you're going to look for your uh, hub ID.js. So, for example, when we created the direct development HubSpot account, we got a hub ID of 382276. Um, and so, our specific tracking code, if we go back to it, um, is 382276. You can see it on this right side over here. Um, and so, that's the JavaScript that is loading, that is the HubSpot tracking code. And so we can see that because it's loading here with a status of 200, meaning it was successfully loaded, we know that the HubSpot tracking code is successfully loading on this page, and all of that uh, information is being um, sent back to HubSpot for all of the CTA clicks, all of the page views, um, and is being assigned to you know each of those contacts in the CRM. So when you put that HubSpot tracking code again, to get to it, you go to Portal Settings, Reports on the left side, Tracking Code, and it really is just this snippet of code right here. Uh, I just want to copy it or send it to you know your web developer. There are some more instructions down here if you want to read through those, um, but it is again just a matter of copying and pasting this code directly into um, you know your website that's not hosted on HubSpot, and that is it for Tracking Code.